All right, so I'm back with uh, Michael Patrick O'Connor. He's uh, on the road leading up to Mount Rushmore. I talked to Michael just a little while ago, and uh, he was in Keystone, just down the road there. As you know, uh, President Trump is visiting Mount Rushmore today, and there's a strong Native presence there. Uh, Michael, talk to us about what you see. Oh, there is. A, I'm, I'm definitely feeling and seeing a very strong Native presence up here. We've probably got, I would say, a couple of hundred people. I'll try and get them in the background. But uh, we're all up and down right before you go into the entrance to uh, Mount Rushmore Boulevard. We're meeting people, Trump supporters, Trump leavers with, with, uh, with our sentiments as far as um, Native American, um, uh, social justice and anti-Trump sentiment. Um, can I just have you pan your phone around and that way people can kind of see? Yeah. If you look up on that hill, you'll see some relatives up there because we had some Washichu relatives up there that we were wondering about. So we had to. And I'm going to I'm going to risk coming out in front of law enforcement. Oh, hey, Brian. See, Brian, I'm going to mute you for now. Um, okay. I'll, I'll check up on you in just a moment. There is, Kevin, there is a heavy law enforcement um, presence here as well. So where are you exactly, Michael? I am right at the, we are right at the entrance. Um, I would say right down literally uh, 100 yards, 50 yards from the entrance before you go up into um, um, route Mount Rushmore Park. And that's as far as you can go. Everybody that is, every car that uh, arrives is being checked. You have to have tickets to actually enter that area. And we're so we're stationed right before um, you actually enter Mount Rushmore. As I understand, the protest was originally planned for Keystone. Um, did the decision to go up closer to Mount Rushmore happen uh, within the last few minutes? Or? Yeah, I think so. I hope you can hear me, Kevin. Let me know if you can, but I want to get the relatives here. Um, actually, you know, I think we're, I mean, I can see Keystone right now. I could probably take a stone and throw a rock and hit the boundaries of Keystone. So I think technically we are in Keystone. But as far as I know, um, this was the original place that was agreed that we were going to meet. I see a strong Black Lives Matter uh, presence there. Uh, is that accurate? Oh, yes, absolutely. We have uh, Black Lives Matter relatives here that have decided to stand in solidarity with us. Just like when we were up in Minnesota, we stood in solidarity with them. And I'll show you behind me, there's an officer, but if you look up on the hill, there's relatives up there because we, again, like I said, we had some Washichu people up there and they were suspicious to us. Uh, we didn't know why they were there. And so we, we sent up relatives up there to make sure that uh, it was gonna be safe. Right. And if you wouldn't mind just panning one more time with your camera, just um, sure. I think I'll just walk by again. Great. Natives got nativesonline.com right here, everybody. Uh, actually, it's indians.com. Oh, I'm sorry, In indians.com right here. Indians.com. Indians.com. Can you hear me now? We got a lot of different ages up here. As you can see, a lot of our women relatives are here standing strong, showing how strong our native people are. Indians.com. How you doing? Where are you from? 
Oh, nice. Glad to see you. Glad to see where you're from. All right, good to see you. So people, people from all over are here. People from uh, a lot of media are here as well. I really love to see that. It sounds like a really great uh, group of people and a lot of culture, a lot of uh, regalia I see. Um, so that's really positive. Yeah, it's it's fantastic to see. We got off started in a good way with a good smudge and a good prayer. Some good uh, songs are being played as well. How many people would you say are there? I would say probably just by guesstimate, uh, a couple hundred. Great. You know, when we spoke earlier, you were looked like about the only protester on the streets of Keystone. Um, did the did the number of protesters increase pretty quickly after that? Yeah, yeah. And I was actually down in Keystone in the area where all the Trump supporters were having dinner in, in, in that um, as being tourists, basically preparing to go to the Trump rally. And so I didn't know I didn't know really where I was at. But uh, the original plan, and I, and we just walked right up there, was to meet at this location. I think it's a great location because we literally see Trump supporters coming in. And honestly, I got to say that it would probably be a, a highly volatile situation, not by our, not by our side, but just because of the tension that I felt when I was down in Keystone. Keystone should, Keystone City Administration should be ashamed of themselves for, for allowing that type of um, atmosphere and environment to be held in these sacred Black Hills. They should be, they should look themselves in the mirror and they should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah, it sounded uh, pretty scary what you were describing earlier with some of the shops and some of the people and uh, some of the things that people were doing as they were driving by. So I'm glad you're out of that area. Yeah, yeah, me too. I have always feel safer with, when I'm with my Native people, and I don't discriminate. I have lots of non-Native friends as well that, that, are, that I love. Um, but, you know, these, these hills know who we are. Um, we are directly tied into these into these sacred places and so that's why you know when we come together like this i think that's why it feels so powerful i think we all feel that there's even little bitty ones here too great michael well, i sure appreciate you uh sharing with us all um what you're seeing out there it's uh yeah it's just really positive and empowering to see that and uh, i'm oh, glad that beautiful. there's that kind of a presence so yeah, it's beautiful. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's not all that nice either because we get Trump supporters going by and with vulgarities. But we knew that, you know, we we're prepared for that. And we've also had people that were, to me, they seem kind of like infiltrators, spies that just came walking up through the crowd. And they were allowed to do that. Obviously, they can do that. But some young, young bucks, some young lawyers made sure that they keep an eye on them, make sure that the people are safe. Now, I understand there were some um, efforts to uh, kind of slow down the traffic there a little bit by some of the protesters. Have you heard of anything about that? No, no, I have not seen that at all. I mean, some people, um, on, you know, regularly are crossing the street, but absolutely not. In no way. And I've been here. I got here early. I've been here since since this all started. And I, no, that, that is absolutely untrue. In no way did we try to impede people's progress. And, and the officers are here as well. And so they've been real good at keeping a distance and allowing, you know, for a demonstration as well, as they should, I might add. That's great. Great. So peaceful protest. That's awesome. Well, um, please keep us uh, updated as, as the day goes on. Do you know how long this will last? Or? Uh Technically, until 7 p.m. So that'd be uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, yeah, if you wouldn't mind checking back with us a little later, that'd be great. Oh. Okay, just let me know, Kevin. I'll All be right. glad to. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless. We can talk to all the relatives. All right. Well, I'm going to check in here with uh, Brian Brewer. And uh, Brian is uh, down on the Pine Ridge Reservation today. Uh, Brian, uh, if you would, unmute, unmute your mic there and um, just have you kind of talk about uh, what's going on where you're at.
Sorry, looks like we're having trouble uh, reaching Michael here. Um, he was, ha or not Michael, Brian. Um, he was having some issues with his uh, cell service earlier, so I wonder if that's the case again. Um, Brian, if you can hear me, uh, you might try to un unmute your mic. In the meantime, I think I might go back to Michael. Are you still there, Michael? Yes, I'm still here, Kevin. Well, if you don't mind, I just have you sh uh, show people what you see. You don't have to talk or anything. Everybody, in response to our relatives up there. They climbed the hill because there were some non-native relatives, some white people, to be put it real blunt. There were some white people up there, and we didn't know why we, we were there. And I think we took a precautionary measure to ensure the safety of the crowd to go up there and make our presence felt just in case um, it was something that was uh, unsafe or it was something that was maybe um, targeted towards us. So just a precautionary measure. But we got relatives up on that high hill as well. Great. All right. Well, Michael, I might let you go. Um, I'll try to check back with you maybe in an hour or two. And um, if that works. Yeah, absolutely. Just let me know, Kevin. Awesome. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Sorry we couldn't uh, get Brian on there. I'll have to, hopefully we can uh, get that fixed for our next broadcast here in a little while. Um, so we'll check back probably in about maybe an hour to an hour and a half. So thank okay. you all. Just send me, send me a message, Kevin. Will do. All right, thanks.